I was just thinking about you. Why are you calling me now, Zach? Out of the blue. How did you get my number? Your mum gave it to me. I told her I'd been diagnosed with a terminal illness, that I needed to see you. It was an easy lie. Seriously, I don't believe in coincidences. I think I've been sent on this surveying job for a reason. A little bit more. Please meet me here. For old time's sake, please. I'll see you later. He's your ex-husband. I can imagine your marriage like a game of cat and mouse. I still think about him in a good way. That's the funny thing. There's a lot going on inside that head of yours that I don't understand. They're all blind to something. Okay. Lucy now, more tension. Head a little bit lower. Strong eyes. Lucy look down. Eve, and turn away. take this. That's it. That's brilliant. Chin slightly lower. Miss, can I, can I ask you a question? <clears throat> my uh, my friend is like a, he's like a genius photographer and he's doing like a photo shoot in the park. It sounds really really wacky, but he's looking. Have you ever had mace sprayed in your face? No. Sod off then, you fucking bitch. Better call the boss. All the world's a stage. Why are you wearing a veil? It's been seven years I've changed. And so have you. What happened? There's so much to tell. What's that? Heard a noise? Probably a mouse. Must have been a big mouse. There's no one else here except us. Let's go. I've seen enough. Why have you brought me here? Because I wanted to be with you. Uh, 
Hey, mate, can I talk to you for a minute? To photograph someone like you. What'd you say? When I see my reflection, so many unanswered questions. Maybe you weren't so far off the mark. Maybe life itself is a terminal illness. We appear to be dying on the outside, but we're living on the inside. It's the hidden reality of life and death. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. Your corridor theory. <laughs> Not far now. Your life is gonna be like, gonna be like mortalized. See down there, like transformed. It all looks so peaceful and idyllic. It's easy to take all this for granted. I took you for granted. That was my big mistake. Can't we just be friends again? A walk? For old time's sake? That's all we could find, boss. Well, you two keep a lookout. <laughs> Go on, Roman. Okay. I have a strange feeling. I don't know what it means. Cat but your little towel, does it? Wake up, Muppets, and keep a fucking lookout. Feel his heart beating, Zach. Heart is still beating. 